Hello and welcome to LearningEngineer.com where we engineer learning for efficiency. My name is Michael Langdon and today what I'm going to do is show you how in Microsoft Word you can take the input from an input box, so one input, and send it to multiple outputs. In other words, send it to multiple bookmarks. So if you need to automate a document, let's say you work at a law firm and you need the, a name, the same name on every single page, you can insert the bookmark into every single page and then in one input box send that to every page so you'd only have to type it once and send it to many so the way you do that is actually not that difficult to do and the way I'm going to do it today is I'm going to show you how to set it up into a template so every time you open this document or I should say not open but to create a new document it's going to run this code and it's going to ask for the input you type in a name and it's going to send it so that's what I'm doing today so this is for a creating a new document basically a template that every time you open a new one it's going to ask you this so the first thing we want to make sure that you know how to do is that you have your developer tab here and that's you get that by coming over here to file more and then options and under options under customize ribbon there is one down here called developer and just make sure that is checked. The other thing you'll probably want to do is come to advanced here on the left side and scroll down to where it says show document content and have show bookmarks checked. I like to do that because I like to see to the bookmark to make sure that it's there when I'm developing. Now after you've created this you could probably just have that turn that off. So name and now after I've typed in my two separate name locations I'm going to insert the bookmark is right there they're hiding it from me so uh, name one add come down here to this one bookmark name two add okay now what I'm going to do is save this. So I'm going to go save. And we're going to send it in custom office templates here. Okay. And we need to save it as a word macro a word macro enabled template. And name, we're going to call it name. And we're going to click save. Okay. So now it's a DOTM, so that means a macro-enabled template. Next, we need to come to Developer tab and click on Visual Basic. And we want to come to our project name because that's the name of our file, so that's going to be our project. Double-click on that. And then here where it says General, we're going to change that to Document. And you can see we can change it to other things here. I'm just going with New for now. The first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to create a variable for our input box input. So we're going to say dim bk as string and you do need to capitalize where you see it capitalized. And then we're going to say bk so our variable equals whoops equals input box and this this is our prompt so please enter the name and you gotta put that in quotes and then in parentheses again next we're going to set our bookmark and so the first thing we're gonna do is set our variable as range and then we're actually gonna set our bookmark using that variable now sometimes this can seem counterintuitive if you've done any programming and that's because uh, the way it works in Microsoft Word is it actually runs all the code first and then paints repaints the document that's why you don't have to have it in ex in really order and then in here we're gonna put the name of our bookmark which is name one and then we're going to set this as range. And then we're going to say name one bookmark. Whoops. Name one bookmark dot 
text equals bk, so that variable. Now we're going to take this and copy it. So control C, control V, and we're just going to change all of these ones to twos. So two, two, whoops, two. So expected equals, oh, yes, that is correct. I guess I should have read the first one and I would have known that. So this should be equals. So set bookmark equals active document. Thank you, code checker, or actually debugger. So that's set, that's set, two, two, two. Oh, nope, forgot this one. So that should be two, two. Okay, and now that we're done with that, we click save name. So that's saved. Okay, we can now close this. We can now close this. We can now close this if we wanted to. I think we should also be, yeah, let's close it. And let's go back into Word. Okay. And then if we go new, you can see now we have a little tab here called personal. And if we click on personal, there is name. And if we click on name, it says, please enter the name. So I'm going to type in Mike. And then we click OK. And up came our document. And there's the name. So that's how that works. So easy peasy. So I'm Michael Langdon. Uh, I'm a learning engineer. And I hope this video helped. Have a great day.